Well, we're not built for the life that we have. You know, we're not built for Twitter and Zoom calls and texts and news about what's happening in mm. Japan. And we're not, our minds can't cope with that and never have had to deal with that um, a volume of information before. And that sort of sense of kind of looming threat from a million different places. And so, of course, there's going to be anxiety and whatever. And the thing I'd say to anyone who's, who's listening, who's suffering with anxiety at the minute, um, as I did, is really hold on to it. It's something people told me, but like really hold on to the fact that it does pass. Like it can't, it can't stick around forever because you can't be in that heightened state. If you're having a panic attack, it's not comfortable, but it's not going, it, you can't be in that state for very long. And, um, and just sort of, yeah, try, try and seek as whatever help you can get. But, um, but you know, it's, it's not um, for life, you know, you know, you're not going to be, I, I definitely had periods where I was like, oh God, I've gone, I had this thing where I was in bed and I, was, I think I was having like a mild panic attack and I thought my arms had got huge and I thought I had my, massive giant arms and I thought, oh, is this my life now? I've got giant arms, have I? Is this, I'm going to wander around down the street with giant arms. Look at my lovely normal arms. <laughs> I win. Take that, anxiety. <laughs>